So we're out here in some mangrove strand and we're kayaking looking for the elusive mangrove diamondback terrapin. birthday and then be a lifer for me on my birthday that would be really awesome I'm super excited it's you know the other thing too is my birthday being in February um, kind of sucks because growing up north it was dead of winter it, you know I remember a lot of birthdays we were having our birthday party and having friends over and just sledding and doing all that stuff there's you know half a foot of snow on the ground and it's it could be just bitterly cold but here in Florida, not so much. Sometimes it can be cold, sure. But right now, it is absolutely beautiful outside. It's almost 80 degrees. Uh, I'm trying to navigate through some mangroves here. <laughs> so that's kind of why I'm looking around a lot. But yeah, I'm super excited for this right now. Give you an idea what the scenery looks like. It's magnificent. Now I can't quite disclose where I'm at because we're actually here trying to science up these turtles. Uh, we're doing pit tagging and taking data on them for Florida Fish and Wildlife. But yeah, we gotta be on the gotta be on the lookout here uh, for diamondback terrapins, specifically the mangrove diamondback terrapin subspecies. They could be anywhere hiding in any of this these mangrove nodules. But also, this is kind of interesting because we're in the protected part of a mangrove island. So where we are, we're actually, this is the South Florida Keys area. And what happened is, for anyone who might have missed it, uh, bring it back to me, a couple years ago we had suffered through Hurricane Irma. And so at least this part of the island still looks really nice. Uh, other parts of the island, not so much. All the outside mangroves have been completely stripped of their leaves and it, it's skeletonized. It's like that all throughout the Keys. So just to give you an all an idea what I was talking about, these skeletonized mangroves, they're really all stripped and... Uh, wait, what's that? Uh, there's, uh, there's David. Uh, 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 look at that. That's adorable. Uh, Megrove Terrapin, you're so cute. Looks like a, maybe, I think that's a female. Wow, <laughs> Ugh. whoa, it's really mucky here. <laughs> oh, almost ate it trying to catch you, little turtle. Look at this thing, oh my gosh. I got a lifer on my birthday. That is so cool, I'm so excited right now. I could kiss you, little turtle, except I'm not going to. Oh dear, oh, this is special. Looking for terrapins in the mud. Looking, oh god. That's fine. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful muck. Going through the mangroves. Looking for some terrapins. This is, this is a special kind of habitat. Holy crap! Look at that right there, buried in the mud. Check this out. Yeah. Oh, don't bite me. Oh, it's a big one. Look at that. Just covered in muck. <laughs> that is an interesting way to find a turtle. We got one. Where? Uh, it's right here. Uh, so it's, what I found interesting about the mangrove, going back terrapins like this one here, is sure we found one out on a mud bank and one out swimming but for the most part their strategy is they burrow in the mud like this unlike ones in other areas like we found ones in the panhandle that hide under sea rack these ones all they have back here is this mud uh, hello <laughs> what'd you get kirby i got turtles two terrapins they're buddies. So what's really cool about these little turtles is they spend their entire lives out in this area, mostly just eating snails and crabs and things. 
but they are so adorable. We're currently in the process of beginning to work up and do the science on them now. So excited to find these today. 